Hello, this is episode number five of Pad Reviews, and this time I'm going to be looking at this, which is the controller for the Philips CDI, or one of them. There was a standard controller for the CDI which looked like a joypad for the Mega Drive or 3DO but this is the one I've got and to be honest there's not a great deal to be said for it. Uh, as you can see it's very minimal. It looks a little bit like a Wii pad, Wii, Wii mote, um, but it's nowhere near as good and I'll come on to that in a sec. Um, but let's have a quick look at the buttons. Um, you've got this central sort of D-pad which is not great to be honest, not not very uh, not very responsive when you're playing games. Um, and you'd think that that thing in the middle was a button, but it's not. It's just a sort of piece of plastic that doesn't press in or do anything. And then you've got button one, and you've got button two, and that's your lot. There's no trigger button on the bottom. There's no infrared, and that's because it's got a wire, which is extremely long. As you can see, and um, I'll keep going and going and going and going and going and going. I would imagine that is because the CDI or the CD Interactive was intended to be a kind of video CD player on steroids. Uh, so you would have the CDI under your TV and then you would have this remote in your hand but you'd be set on the couch on the other side of the room, so you'd have this massive long wire rather than an infrared remote control. So you could control, you know, stop, play, pause, all the usual functions. Um, I do believe there is actually an infrared controller for the CDI, but this is the one that came as standard with a lot of the models that came, came out. Um, so yeah, like I said, there's not a great deal for me to say about this, this controller. Uh, yeah, it's functional, um, quite okay to hold, I suppose. But other than that, there's not really a great deal to say about it. So yeah, CDI.